Hello, Graphic Design. I just wanted to show you how to get your logo into Google Draw and write the information in there that you need. So you're going to do a search in your email for uh, the logo that you sent to me, the PNG or whatever file you saved it as for web and devices. I have one here I did for a client. So I'm going to use that one. There's a couple ways to do it. Uh, the first way I wanted to show you was to go ahead and download it. You want to go ahead and then open it. And then right click on it. Hit save as. Put it somewhere that you can find it real easy. It's okay if you use your desktop, just make sure your name and stuff so you can find it real easy. I'm just gonna title it my logo for now and then hit save. All right, we can go ahead and close this. Then you're gonna open up Google Draw. Okay, so how you do that is, you wanna log into Google's homepage like this, make sure you're logged in, go to your drive, then go to new, you wanna go down to more, and there's Google Drawings. All right, so this is your workspace for Google Drawings. Once we get into it, you'll see it's not too much different from Illustrator and Photoshop. Uh, first thing we need to do is insert that logo. So you wanna to go to Insert up here on the menu. Go to Image, Upload from Computer, Find it, Select it, and hit Open. All right. So now from here, it gets a bounding box, just like we get in Illustrator and Photoshop, and you can resize it. Your logo should appear with the alpha channels if you saved it correctly. If not, that's okay. I just want to get through this to see if you guys can get it in here at all. After that, um, next thing you're going to do is type in your name, your company's name, and an explanation as to what happened when you tried to put your logo in there if you couldn't get it in there. All right, so what we gotta do is use the text box in here and it works just like an illustrator. It's right over here where you see the T and the box around it. If you hover your cursor over it, it says text box. So you select it, click and drag where you wanna type. For this, I don't care how you design it. And just start typing in your name your company name. I'm going to just put the um, name of the company I work for here. And then um, if yours worked, you obviously don't need to write anything else. But if yours didn't, say I didn't have my logo or couldn't find it. If that's the case, I have it in my thing somewhere and I will try to get it to you. Once you do that, I want you to go ahead and we're going to change this text a little bit. So you want to click and highlight it. So you're clicking up at the bottom there and highlighting it. Then you'll get all these options for the text up here. And first thing I'm going to have you do is change the color. You can change it to anything you want. I'm going to pick, how about to pick purple so it matches the logo. Um, then I want you to go ahead and make it bold by selecting the B right there and make it a little bit bigger. Let's do font of 24. Okay. Now, as you can see, I don't like how this one word fell down to the bottom. So you can click and drag and make your text box go out further so it includes everything in there. That's all you're going to do for your first assignment. Then you just go up here and you share it with me, just like you would a Google Doc or anything like that. You'll start typing in my uh, email. Okay, that's it for that. If you have any questions, please, please email me. We can even do um, a Google Hangout chat and I can walk you through this just on your screen like this. All right.